to get you answers. Steve Andrews is Target 8. A stalemate between a power company and homeowners. Who owns the high-voltage underground cable and why isn't it buried? For months, high-voltage electric lines owned by Duke Energy have literally sat on the ground in a Pinellas County mobile home park. Again, on the ground, not beneath the ground where they belong. Duke won't pay to bury the lines because there's a dispute about who owns it. Well, the homeowners contacted Target 8 senior investigator Steve Andrews about this. And uh, what have you been able to sort out, Steve? Well, what we've been able to sort out at this point is that Duke claims it's not responsible to bury or pay for burying that high-voltage electric cable that it laid down in that park. But electrical experts tell Target 8 they believe it is. This is what Duke Energy did to protect residents at Sunny Acres Mobile Home Park from a high-voltage underground cable that sat on top of the ground for months. It wrapped some caution tape around some wooden stakes, then strung it the length of the cable. Homeowner Francis Dorsey. Well, it's just a few more things to trip over if anybody's out at night and forgets that they're there. It also put up cones and tried to hide another high-voltage cable that snaked along the sidewalk. Rains from Hurricane Hermine shorted the park's underground cable in September. Duke claims, as a courtesy, it provided new cables to supply power. It won't bury them because it insists it didn't install the original cable. But Sunny Acres owns the underground wires providing power to the mobile homes. Electrical contractor Charlie Spitzer disagrees. He examined the wiring and contends only a power company could install that type. The wire is not the right size for 32 mobile homes and a pump service. It couldn't have been installed by an electrical contractor. Electrical consultant Mike Handley concurs. It could not have been installed by an electrical contractor. According to Handley, only power companies use that type of wiring. Duke claims it doesn't use that wiring either. Target 8 contacted Florida's Public Service Commission about this standoff. At first, it said it's Duke's responsibility to bury the cable. Later, it sent me the exact same statement Duke provided me hours earlier. Then you know they got it from the utility and they didn't question it, they just submitted it. What is clear is the danger these exposed cables pose. Oh, that could be very, very hazardous. Extremely hazardous. Now, according to Duke, this is not the first mobile home park that claims the underground cable belongs to the power company. Duke states it is not paid to replace any nor will it. Well, so does the PSE regulate Duke or follow orders, I guess? Which, which is it? I mean, who's... Well, that's a very good question because the Public Service Commission appears to get its marching right. orders from Duke Energy, the very utility that it oversees and regulates. Now, I've requested all communication between the PSC and Duke on this issue. So far, I've received nothing from the Public Service Commission. And I, th I think the, uh, the theory is here that if you pay for one, you're going to have to pay for them all. Yeah. In the meantime, be careful about the tape. That's really working out. Right. Well. Don't yeah. trip, right? The yeah. cable's still sitting there. That'll protect you. The force is with you. Thank you, Steve. Yeah. Wow. And if you have a problem you'd like Steve to investigate, you can call our Target 8 helpline. The number is 1-800-338-0808.